Why were you in that witch's house? If not for Triss, I'd be dead, most likely. I'll show you my other, less tender side if you're lying. Ah. What brings you here? That witch is trying to steal one of my patients, Alvin. What does that hag know about raising children? Everyone knows she can't have her own. I don't want her handling that child with her dirty paws. Devil only knows what she wants with him. Explain to her that Alvin's staying with me. It'd be much simpler if you two would just agree. Simple or not, you know her better. Please bring Alvin to me. Okay, give me a kiss. What can I... You need anything? What? Wise dwarf. Around. Will you sing? Eternal fire. Need it? Will you sell me your sick? Can I have as you?
Well, that missed the... Hmm, maybe not. Yeah? Farewell. Carol, I was looking for you. I had no idea Nurse Natala was such a wellspring of passion. You ever seen her leaning over patients? <laughs> Those eyes. Dandelion. In any case, I was on my way here to entertain Natala with some scintillating conversation when I passed these two odd-looking men dragging out this kid who was hollering and crying. They called him by his name. I think it was Alpin or Albin or something. Shit, that's who I'm here for. Well, you'll be proud of me. Oblivious to any danger, I decided to help the kid and followed them. They dragged him to this house. You're right. I am impressed. Told you. You have to take me with you this time. This is true ballad material. Matter of fact, I'll lead you there. The house is in the non-human district. Follow me. This is where they brought Alvin. Great. Wait here and don't enter until the fighting stops. You always tell me to wait outside. No. This time I'm going in with you. I'll create a new genre. The proactive ballad. I don't want you around when I start swinging. Okay. I guess poetry requires sacrifices. Geralt, hurry! Challenge the Salamandra! I'm glad you're here. Everything will be all right. Are they dead? Yes, Alvin. They gave me no choice. I understand, Geralt. Take me away from here. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Geralt. And here's the boy. See? Where would you be without me? Shh. They're coming. Grab the kid and go out back. 
You heard them outside? Amazing. Okay, I'll take him, but where? Take him to Triss. She's a sorceress. She'll protect him best. Oof. Doubt that'll make Shani happy. But it's better than angering a sorceress, I guess. Get going. Okay, I'll leave the boy with Triss. You're dead. the time I don't know Alvin going to market tomorrow
A famous greetings. Can I help? Of greetings. Can I? I need. Yes. Another century. Cause of lumber, and all of it green as a schoolboy. Welcome, noble. What brings you here? Ruthless King Foltest governs with an iron fist. His love for his daughter is his Ooh. only weakness. Exalt. If you're dr A sword fight? No, Alvin. Swords are not toys. You'll understand when you're older. But I want to learn how to fight. Car no way. But I want to learn how to fight. Geralt. Triss, about Alvin. Mm-hmm. Is he safe? Yes. Dandelion brought him here and explained. I knew I could count on you. Is Shawnee clear about this? No? Then go tell her the boy stays with me. End it. I... Well, if I have to. Though I'd rather face a swarm of ghouls. 
Geralt. Greetings. You look... It's all well, Geralt. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. How could you? She cast a spell on you! Out of my sight! I will forget your very name! I'm saving for a boat fare to get me away from here. You need anything? To remember, they say you halted the Black One's charge. We Geralt. Uh, I spoke with Shani. She understood, but didn't take it too well. I'm glad that's settled. Alvin needs someone who knows magic. Geralt, I wanted to talk to you about the future. About us. Triss. I'm not jealous. I'd just like to know where we are. Can't this wait? I have this job. Clients getting impatient. Please think about it, Geralt. 
We needn't talk. A symbolic gift would do. Say, a ring. Couldn't you just read my mind? I could. But I don't want to. If you give me a ring, I'll treat it as a pledge. If you don't, I'll try to understand. See you, Witcher. Geralt, how's Alvin? Dandelion, do you always have to butt your nose into... Just asking. Something troubling you? She's just... Uh, I don't know anymore. Let's go. Can't talk about women on an empty stomach. But... No buts. Zoltan and I agreed to have a drink today. A mercenary dwarf and a wandering troubadour who knows all the loose women in town. I couldn't choose better advisors. Let's go. Hey, Zoltan. Greetings, Dandelion. Get out. Our monster slayer looks bitter. Something happened? Nothing you need to know. Geralt is experiencing cognitive dissonance, a rather unpleasant tension that accompanies the appearance of two conflicting cognitions, be they thoughts or judgments. You're so full of shit, Dandelion. Simply put, he cannot decide. I assume the dissonance relates to... My dissonance is nothing to you. That's where you're wrong, Geralt. We're your only friends, and friends help each other. You'll see. We'll have a drink, and you'll know exactly what to do about Triss. Somehow I don't think so. Ooh, the vodka's nicely chilled. Gentlemen, cheers! Damn all dissonances! Ooh, delicious. Nothing like a good belt of liquor. Yeah, not bad. Incidentally, Zoltan, why are we drinking from tankards? I swear I saw glass in here. Serious problems require serious solutions. Half measures get you nowhere. I get it. Half measures for Dandelion, though. He yammers enough as it is. Will you stop whimpering like a spoiled lass and spit it out? Triss is a fine woman. But? But I'm a witcher. Killing monsters is my destiny. Don't bullshit me about destiny, Geralt. I realized long ago that all those pathetic bits by Etlina and the like are the same crap and humbug as those dissonances. You may be right, but honestly, do you see me as a cobbler or a farmer? Mm, no. I guess I see your point. Damn it, I don't get it. What's one got to do with the other? No one said you'd have to stop slaying monsters, right? She didn't say either way. Let me explain, Dandelion. Just because a woman doesn't say it, doesn't mean she doesn't want it. In fact, they often say they want something when they really want the opposite. I'll drink to that. Oof. Strong enough to make you cry. I'll tell you what's up with dames. You can theorize all you want, but you'll never figure out what's going on inside their heads. There's just no understanding women. Highly original, Dandelion. Sneer away, but you won't put me off. The problem is you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a family, but I am a poet. I know something about people. Tell me this. Do you want a family or not? Oh. Dandelion, it's not that simple. Answer the question. You know what I mean. If it weren't for this mess, Scoia'tael, the Order, Salamandra... If you only knew how much, Dandelion. Right. The family is the fundamental unit of society. <laughs> uh, screw it all. I've got the hiccups. That's not exactly what I was thinking of. I just want to settle down. I've heard that tone before. <laughs> Let's have another drink. I can't throw these damn hiccups. Nice. I know. Let's go to a whorehouse. Make it your stag night. Dandelion, we were talking about relationships in case you didn't notice. Besides... It won't let me in. 
I'm a filthy non-human. Only the weight of your purse counts at the house of the night. Besides, the madam owes me a favor. Come on, Geralt, live a little. I just don't feel like it. I understand, Geralt. If your daughter found out, believe me, you don't want it to end the way of a mad dwarf woman. I believe that. Me too. Gentlemen, time to get this show on the road. The ideas are getting dumber by the minute. There's a bit left at the bottom of the bottle. One for the road. So be it. Cheers. All the neighbors. What kind of role model are you? <clears throat> I'm out of here. Honey, you could spend some time with Alvin. He needs a father. Quite appropriate, wouldn't you say? Honey? It's a beautiful ring. But? Well, I'd like you to spend more time with Alvin. The boy needs some discipline. I want a puppy. We can't have a dog the way we live. You're bad. I could hug him. You're so good with Alvin. I'll see you later. Greetings, Witcher. What are you doing in this tower? Finally! I've waited so long! 
Kalkstein. The greatest discovery of my life! Know that you fully earned your reward. Algul marrow for me? Not yet. Don't dawdle! I need... How goes your research? I've a new theory. A milestone in alchemy. Everything is composed of particles so small, they can't be seen. Uh-huh. They're constantly moving and acting upon each other. I have yet to confirm it, but I'm working on it. Um, maybe you can tell me about this later. Yes?
not human bones. Things. Much has changed. Townsfolk have violated our swamp. Hmm. Who are these strangers? Dry ones. How dreadful. They drove off the lumberjacks and many were slain. They carry off our kin. The water lords are angry. Only the druids dare remain in the grove. Anything else while I was away? A great battle between a man with a fiery soul and an elven lord. Who won? Our lords were victorious. Praise be to them! May I ask a question? What? What? Tell me about this battle. The man with the fiery soul came with his steel-clad brothers. They angered the lords and dark waters engulfed them. The one who steps lightly through shadow and whose heart is consumed by hatred went to face them. 
They met in a terrible, savage battle, stain in the waters red. Who won, you ask? The fire or the shadow? My answer is... neither. Thanks. Any other questions? I heard you're having problems. Drowners again? Yes. But we have another problem. Speak, Veska. Bandits with salamander badges are forcing my kin to gather herbs. That's very interesting. They separate our kin into groups. Armed guards watch them. Where are they? I saw one group by the Fallen Tower. Please help them. I'll reward you. Their boss, Roland Blyneim, is an evil man. Kill him. I'll do just that. Just in time. Return home. May you never suffer drought. What do you know about Salamandra? They forced us to gather herbs, make fistic. One group hides in the cave near the old logging area. Salamandra is involved in the drug trade? Thanks. Return home.
You'll regret the day you oh. oh. We are saved. At last. No, I came on my own. You're free. Hear that, everyone? We're going home. Before you go, tell me what you know about Salamandra. They held us at a camp. One group may be by the old logging area. Thank you.
Thanks be to the Lords. You're free. We wish to reward you. What is Salamandra doing in the swamp? They're based at the former non-humans camp. You'd need an army to drive them out. Thanks, I'll remember that.
what? <sighs> what? I freed all the brickmakers. They confirmed Salamandra's evil deeds. I thank you for your bravery. If you are to destroy the bandits, seek the Hierophant in the grove. The druids are watching Salamandra. I'll do that. I know how best to reward you. Hmm? I bestow upon you the Water Lord's blessing. You may bathe in the holy waters of the swamp and rejoice. I feel truly honored for... for who is greater than the Water Lords? <laughs>